What's up everyone? Jeremy here from mtgheadquarters.com filming on Halloween. I wish uh, I had something more scary to do or say, but I figured I will just crack an archaic box of Magic the Gathering. This is a box of fourth edition. It was printed uh, obviously after third edition, otherwise known as revised. They took all the sweet uh, dual lands out. And I remember when I was young, this set was like, I was buying revised packs, and when 4th uh, edition came out, and I was opening packs, and it was like the exact same stuff that I was getting in 3rd edition, but it all was not as good, it made me want to quit Magic. I didn't understand reprints when I was that age. Um, I didn't understand. But there are some actually pretty saucy pulls in this box. There's Sylvan Library. It's like a $15 card. Land Tax. It's like a $10, $12 card. Mana Vault, it's like a five, six dollar card. Hercules Recall, five dollar bill. Birds of Paradise, Wrath of God, Strip Mine, Lord of Atlantis, Nether Shadow, Mind Twist, Mind Twist, and much, much more. So let's get right into this Halloween <laughs> edition for no other reason other than uh, I'm filming it on Halloween. So I hope this scares you. Maybe I'll stream tonight and we'll tell ghost stories on stream, which is at twitch.tv slash MTG headquarters. I'm pretty sure these packs, boy, these, these bring back some memories. Oh, man. These are some old packs. I think, what, Herloon Minotaur is this one? I don't remember this guy, but I remember his card sucked. Bronze, Bronze Man or something? I forget. There's a Mana Vault. Very cool. Gold packs. Gold! Uh, let's get going. This uh, was printed in Belgium by Carta Mundi. Ooh, here we go. I, I assume that uh, we probably have some scary... Here's a Mercia's Factory. Good old mana batteries, green mana batteries. <laughs> Disenchant, unsummon. Psychic Venom, Goblin Rock Sled, Amaru, Kith Kithkin, Death Ward, and Twiddle. I feel like Twiddle's the rare, but I'm not sure yet. Um, it's either the fourth card in the pack or the last card. I, I can't remember. I remember, I feel like in Revise it was like the third or fourth card. We'll know once I see, uh, once we get, let's zoom in a little more actually. Winter Blast, Thicket Basilisk, I remember playing this all the time. Cockatrice had played that, the poop out of that card too. Gaseous Form, Alabaster's Potion, Words of Bind. Check out the art, the art is just rad. That one was always weird to me. It was like a photograph, you know? Tundra Wolves, Fear, War Mammoth, and Death Ward. All right. So we're looking for uh, about 30 uh, Sylvan Libraries. <laughs> we got two packs down and we haven't found any yet, but uh, this is the hunt for Sylvan Libraries. Throne of Bone. The Hive. The fourth card, I think, is the rare, isn't it? The Hive seems like a rare, if I remember correctly. Um, I'll figure it out. Be patient. <laughs> Fortified Area. Dark Ritual. Grizzly Bears. Fireball. Loved that card. Circle Protection Blue. So, yeah, it's definitely not. The rare is definitely not the last card. So, it's probably the uh, third or fourth. The Hive seems like the rare. Oh man, Black Vice, I loved this card. This card actually makes me want to build the rack, the modern deck, you know. Um, I know it's obviously not the rack, it's Black Vice, but I used to play this card. It was fun. Wooden Sphere, Blue Ward, and Personal Incarnation. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the fourth, is the rare. So here we go. Blood Terror, Paralyzed Tranquility. All right, yeah, so it must be a three uncommons and then the rare. 
Of course, now my wife decides to work out so I can hear her, like, thumping on the treadmill. <laughs> uh, but I already started recording this, so I'm not going to stop. Lure, ashes to ashes. Very cool art. I love this art. And an earthquake. Yeah, earthquake. And then we've got our commons, vampire bats, pestilence, twiddle, bird maiden, and pearl unicorn. So we are looking for... Sylvan Library, Birds of Paradise, so much more. This art just takes me back, though. Just really takes me back. Glasses of Urza, I remember that card. And Black Mana Battery. Ooh, I remember playing Mana Batteries. Merc Dwellers, Cop Green, Merfolk with a Pearl Trident, Scathe Zombies, and Wild Growth. So I hope you guys are having a super fun Halloween season. It's my favorite time of year. I didn't get to do anything for the channel. I, I uh, Time just kind of passed and it, it got away from me a little bit. And it just didn't, you know, I didn't have time. So that's unfortunate. Castle, Animate Dead, Detonate, and the Zombie Master. Check out that art. Very cool. All zombies gain Swamp Puck and Regenerate. Erg Raiders, very cool, Marsh Viper, I enjoy that card greatly, alright, we've got a Cursed Land, uh, Taunos Weaponry, Brass Man, there it is, yeah, Clockwork Beast, look at this, 04, when Clockwork Beast comes into play, Put seven plus one plus zero counters on it. At the end of any combat in which Cockwork Beast assigned is assigned to attack or block, remove a counter. Pay X, tap, put X, one plus zero counters on Beast. You may have no more than seven of these counters. So, I mean, it's a, it was a fun card, I guess, but uh, I remember not being pumped about it. Erosion. Spell Blast and Fire Breathing. All right, well... Definitely no, uh, definitely no, uh, ooh, Black Knight, loved this card. Double Black, 2-0, protection from white, first strike. Bring back that card. Life Force, Tuanos Wand, and Armageddon Clock, pay six. During your upkeep, put one Doom counter on Armageddon Clock. At the end of your upkeep, Armageddon Clock deals X damage to each player where X is the number of Doom counters on Armageddon Clock. During any upkeep, any... Player may pay four to remove a Doom Counter from Armageddon Clock. Very, very flavorful card, I think. You know, I could see something like that getting played today. I definitely enjoy it. Unholy Strength. Oh, boy. Oh, I see a Singer Vampire. <laughs> I remember playing, like, a, a deck with, you know, four Singer Vampires, four Black Knights, and it was super competitive, actually. 4-4 four, four flyer, just very, very good. Killer bees, killer bees. Air elemental and Jandor saddlebags. Two mana, pay three, untap target creature. You know, howl from beyond. Let's see, fog, sunken city. Grape shot, <laughs> grape shot catapult. It is a, uh, what, combo card, I believe, yeah. Yeah, grape shot, good old grape shot. Ugh. I'm hoping that uh, we get some saucy pulls here. Wall of Bone, Stone Giant, Oasis, prevent one damage to any creature, very nice. And Ragman, pay three and tap, look at target opponent's hand. If that player has any creature cards in her hand, he, in hand, he or she discards one of them at random, use this ability only during your turn. Good old Flo Flood, Frozen Shade, I remember playing this just because, you know, it was good. I always thought this card should have flying, though, since it is literally flying in the picture. Red Elemental Blast, Bog Amp Tranquility, and Power Leak. Power Leak! All right, still waiting for a, a notable pull, but uh, still having fun. Definitely uh, fun to open these packs. It's been, uh, boy, it's been 15 years since whatever this, was, this came out, so... Sinbad, Flash Fires, uh, Obscenius Golem, and Inferno. Pay seven. 
Deals six damage to all players and all creatures. There's a Herloon Minotaur. I'm surprised I remember the name of that. Grape Shot Catapult, Stone Rain, Raise Dead. Holy strength. Holy strength. No, that doesn't really work, does it? Holy diver. <laughs> oh, I thought about opening a box of Homelands for you guys. I thought that'd be pretty scary, but I kind of wanted to open this more. Orcish Oriflam, Karma. Very cool art on that one. Ivory Cup and Cosmic Horror. Six damage, first strike. Seven, seven, first strike. During your upkeep, pay six or destroy Cosmic Horror. If you destroy Comic Cosmic Horror in this way, it deals seven, seven damage to you. Very flavorful card, nonetheless. The Brute. I just picked the wrong time to film this video, didn't I? I got like the workout going on upstairs and getting phone calls. It's just. Maybe this is, you know, it's it, this is uh, the haunted the haunted part of the video. And we have a death lace. Change the color of target spell or target permanent to black. Costs to cast tap, maintain, or use the, the special ability of this target remain unchanged. Drain life. I used to love that card. There's a lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Blood loss. I used to play the, the poop out of that card. Craw worm. Blue elemental blast. And disintegrate. Oh, good old lightning bolt. Death Grip, Rod of Ruin, Felwar Stone, and Bronze Tablet. Comes into, look at this, wall of text. Comes into play tap, pay four, tap. Remove Bronze Tablet and target card opponent owns from the game. You become the owner of the opponent's card, and opponent becomes the owner of Bronze Tablet. Opponent may prevent the exchange by paying ten life. If he or she does so, destroy Bronze Tablet. Effects that prevent or or redirect damage cannot be used to counter the loss of life. Play this ability as an interrupt. There's some old language. Uh, remove Bronze Tablet from the from your deck before playing. Uh, if not playing for anti. <laughs> Good old Raise Dead. Good old Raise Dead. Yeah. Open up old packs. Oh, Desert Twister. Green Ward. There's a Sword Supply Shares. Beautiful. An Island Sanctuary. Pay two. During your draw phase, you may draw one less card from your library. If you do so until start of your next turn, the only creatures that can attack you are those with flying or island walk. It's a flavorful, you know. Little little flavor nugget, by the way, in case you're wondering, there were no foils back now, back then. Uh, so, we can't expect any foil shiny goodness. Visions, Carrion Ants, and uh, what? Tris Triskleon? 1-1, one, one. when it comes into play, put 3-1-1 one, one counters on it. Pay 0, remove one of these counters to have it deal 1 damage to target creature or player. It's a 1-1. One, one. Piety, Lenoir Elves, Wild Growth. A lot of these, you know, are still, you know, there's a lot of cards in this set that are still seeing play in various places. So, uh, Whirling Dervish, Wall of Air, Ashnod's Battle Gear, and Ball Lightning. There we go. Triple Red, 6 1 Trample. Ball Lightning can attack on the turn it comes into play. Otherwise known as Haste. At the end of any turn, Berry. Or destroy ball lightning. Let's see. Giant tortoise. That's a thing. Good old ball lightning. I remember not even knowing that card existed back when I was playing Burn. Look at this card. Look at that art on Abomination. Seems fitting for Halloween, right? Conservator. Segovian uh, Leviathan. And a Lord of Atlantis. There we go. There's a good pull. Double blue for 2-2. Two, two. All more folk in Island Walk and get plus one. Plus one. I actually love that art for Lenoir Elves, too. There's another Lightning Bolt. Well, we got a Lord of Atlantis. Very nice card, although I believe there has been some foil reprints and stuff like that. So, uh, it's pretty saucy. And Helm of Chatsuk. 
Uh, pay one tap, target creature gains banding until end of turn. Good old banding. <laughs> Tundra Wolves. I love this art. If I had, like, the original art for this, I, I definitely, you know, hang it on my wall. I think it's it's really cool. Hill Giant, Giant Spider, Morale, Weakness, Land Leeches, and the Ass. So, still, still no Sylvan Libraries, still no Land Tax, I don't think. Uh, let's see, Crystal Rod, Life Tap. Burrowing, Thought Lace. The art on these cards, man. <laughs> Takes really taking me back now to like the first time I opened a booster pack. Change the color of target spell or target permanent to blue. Oh, this must have been a cycle. Cost to cast, tap, maintain, or use special ability if this target remains unchanged. Sea Serpent, Grape Shot, Catapult, and Stone Rain. Moving right along, moving right along, moving right along. Animate Artifact, Ornithopter, Angry Mob. Look at that, look at those. Can you read that? You probably can't because it's like why not white, but it's 2 plus star slash 2 plus star. And an Ankh of Mishra. Pay 2 each time player puts a land into play, it deals 2 damage to that player. Stream of Life. I played in tournaments where people played Stream of Life. It's just crazy to me how the game used to be, how like these cards nowadays are like a, you know no one would play that card, except for some random you know circumstance. Oh, this one, this is some of my favorite art too. Mind bomb. It's like a literal m mind bomb. <laughs> Blue Ward, Uncle Stiffy. Oh, nice. And Timberwolves. One, one with banding. Good old banding. Can we get one Sylvan Library Plocks? One Sylvan Library Plocks. So if you're new to the channel, uh, it's been a while since I've done a vintage opening. Uh, I plan to do more here uh, around Christmas. I also have the 75,000 subscriber celebration coming up. So if you're not subscribed, you can just kind of watch the videos. Now would be a great time to subscribe because I will be uploading one of every single fat pack ever made by Wizards of the Coast, providing I can buy them all uh, in one giant, amazing celebration when we hit there. So subscribe today. Go ship. Strip mine. There we go. It's a good pack so far. Library of Ling and a Horror Jackal. Pay one. Target creature cannot regenerate this turn. Strip mine. Uh, should I tell you why strip mine is a thing? Okay. Uh, tap, add one colorless to your mana pool. Tap, sacrifice strip mine, destroy target land. That's why. That was reprinted in a From the Vault, I'm pretty sure. Um, there are much more beautiful versions of that card, but uh, it's still cool to pull it. It's an iconic card pulled in its original form. So that's kind of like why I like opening these old packs. I know there's not any real value in it, you know, but it's still fun for me to go back to when I was a kid and when I first started to play Magic. This is the second set I ever bought, I think. Pyrotechnics, White Knight, very good card. Phantasmal Forces, and Mishra's War Machine. Seven mana for a 5-5 five five with Banding. During your upkeep, choose and discard one card from your hand, or Mercer's War Machine deals three damage to you. If Mercer's War Machine deals damage to you in this way, tap it. Semi Healer, some more Lightning Bolts. Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt. Blue Elemental Blast and Disintegrate. Loved that card too. Oh man, I just remember buying these packs from like Shopco. Water Elemental, very cool art. Soul Net. Ooh, Sarah Angel. There you go, Mr. Lubufu. That is a beautiful Sarah Angel. Just pure. This is the Sarah Angel. When somebody says Sarah Angel, this is the art I always think of. And a Howling Mine. Pay two. Each player draws one extra card during his or her draw phase. Yeah, the art back then, definitely just different. It's It's come so far from like, you know, technology is also really expanded and grown. And so, I mean, I think if you printed some of this stuff nowadays, people would be like, oh my God. But I think like stuff like Gloom is just iconic. I mean, if uh, for those of you out there who are old like me, 
This stuff is probably bringing back some good memories for you. Wall of Ice. Osai Vultures. Very cool. And a Force of Nature! Oh my god, I forgot this card even existed. I, I knowingly and willingly traded dual lands for this card all the time. Back in the day. Uh, two colorless, four green for an 8-8 Trampler with four green as an upkeep. Well, you gotta pay four or destroy it. Or it deals eight damage to you, sorry. But it's kind of funny though. I mean, it's an 8 8 trampler. Once that thing's out, it's just over. Man, I love this card. Uh, Bubba, my cousin Adam, if you're watching, remember when we used to open these? <laughs> uh, my cousin does watch my videos every once in a while. He's the guy that got me into magic, so I know he's gonna appreciate this box too. Man, Force of Nature. They need to reprint like a better card, a better Force of Nature. And or, yes, obviously it looks just like Predator. Black Ward, Energy Flux, Steel Artifact, and a Chaos Lace. The uh, Red Lace. Regeneration. No Sylvan Library. No, maybe I was wrong about it being in this set. I'm pretty sure it's in this set. It's just extremely... I mean, that's probably why it's uh, it's not exactly common, just kind of why it's worth some money. Counterspell. Classic counterspell art, too. Wah, wah. It's like falling off his hand. That's classic stuff. Keldon Warlord. Uh, El Hajaj. I'm completely guessing. 1-1 one, one for 3. Gain 1 life for every 1 damage he deals. <laughs> You cannot gain more life in this way than the toughness of a creature or total life that player blank damages. Okay. Boy. Weakness land leeches and the old asp. I'm on nine packs left, so uh, I hope you guys are enjoying. I hope you guys are taking a moment to comment down below if you were playing then or you know i just love it feels like the comments have really we've had fewer and fewer comments and i know google makes it more difficult but i do enjoy reading them i enjoy talking down there backfire hurricane and red mana battery oh man i remember playing these four mana two tap put one charge counter on it tap add red mana to your mana pool and remove as many charge counters as you wish free charge counter removed from red mana battery add one mountain to your mana pool place Ability as an interrupt. It like tells you how to play it. Pit Scorpion. Nice. Battering Ram. It's funny because when I started to play, now now that I am more educated about the game, I realized that I was like utterly and completely a kitchen table magic player. And I, I would play almost all of these cards in one deck or another. There's no deck that I didn't play most of these cards. There we go. The Rack. I love this card. Just iconic card, too. If you played when I played, you know what I mean. Like, just the art of that just stirs up a lot of memories. Brass Man, Iron Star, Smoke, Double Red, No Player Man, Tap, more than one creature during his or upkeep. That's a, probably a legitimate card. I can see that being a real blowout these days with tokens. Word of Binding. All right. Still no Sylvan Libraries, but we did get to pull a Force of Nature, which was awesome. It felt just as good in 2014 pulling that card, even knowing it's worthless, just because I remember how much that card was coveted. Tsunami, Wall of Water, Wall of Fire, and Crimson Manticore. Four mana for 2-2 two, two Flyer. Pay one and tap. It deals one damage to target attacking or blocking creature. All right. Apprentice Wizard. God, this art. I remember just Grizzly Bear, man. The iconic. That's why everybody calls it a bear. 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. <laughs> two, two for 2-2. Two, 2 two for 2-2. Two, two. It's a bear. Alright. Come on, people now. Savage and Ghoul. Crumble. Goblin King. I definitely had a goblin deck back in the day. 3 mana, 2-2. Two, two. All goblins gain Mountain Walk and get plus 1. Plus 1. Good old Frozen Shale, Brute. I remember, like, the only rule we had, I think, uh, back in the day when we played in the kitchen was no circle of protections and no, uh, we, I think we had the four of limit. We're down to just three packs. 
So if you guys are new to the channel, now would be a great time to subscribe. I hope you guys are enjoying it. We do all sorts of things from vintage openings like this to uh, I now stream on Twitch on Tuesdays and Thursday nights, twitch.tv slash MTG headquarters. Um, so much, so many ways to interact. Here's a cursed rack. Look at that. And blue mana battery. Um, there's so many ways to hang out. The forum now has an iDevice app. So if you go to like mtgheadquarters.com slash forum slash iPhone, uh, you can get it. It's free and you can interact with hundreds of other Magic players whenever you want. It's uh, got a great thriving community and we'd love to have you there. Oh boy, feedback. Classic. Blight. Love this card. Love it. Uh, just the art of it. Just, I don't know how, it just... Gives me like the feeling of like old school horror movies from like the 80s that were just good movies. You know, they didn't, they had, they couldn't rely on like cinematic effect, you know. Channel <laughs> and blessing. Channel, two green until end of turn. You may add colorless mana to your mana pool at a cost of one life per mana. Play these additions as interrupt effects that. Prevent or redirect damage cannot be used to counter this loss of life. With burn spells, that's, that seems like a thing. Oh, come on. The entire box, not one. Sylvan Library. Last pack. I feel it. It's going to happen. I feel it way down. Oh, Fire Elemental. <laughs> I remember this card. I played her in my burn deck. I absolutely did. Okay, here we go. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. I hope you have a happy Halloween. If you're not watching this on Halloween, well then, I hope you have a great day. I look forward to chatting with you in the comment section down below. Ugh, warp artifact. Wah, wah. Uh, deals one damage to target artifacts controller during his or her upkeep. Take that. Oh, you play uh, turn one Black Lotus. Turn two, Mox Ruby. Yeah, take two, two life, two damage. Suck on that. <laughs> oh man. Well, we didn't get many of the. Uh, we didn't get much of the the crazy pulls. I guess I could have missed something. Um, notable pulls, at least for nostalgia reasons, for me would be like the rack. Um, obviously, Force of Nature. Um, this Sarah Angel was really fun, memorable. Strip mine, uh, and this Lord of Atlantis, ball ending swords of plowshares, all good stuff. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if we get enough, I've got a box of Homelands. I'm trying to decide how to present to you because everyone knows that set is pretty awful. I don't know if you guys would want to watch 36 packs of that's getting opened, but uh, you never know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and if you haven't already, check out some of our most popular playlists from MTG vlogs, sick gameplay videos, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. I upload three to four new Magic the Gathering videos every week, so if you haven't already, please take a moment to crush that subscribe button to join one of the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channels on YouTube. Talk to you later.